put you guys on time lapse so I can show you how to make a, a shorty harness. Alright, so now I just have the basic pieces I need for this engine to run and recharge a battery. So, this plug right here, it comes from your engine, your stator, and then uh, these two wires, it's usually the black and red wire, and the blue and white wire will come from the stator to the CDI box. Those two, two wires will go into the uh, CDI box, and... Uh, the CEI box does this thing, whatever fresh toast that is, and then the electrical signal comes back out twice as powerful, way stronger, and uh, it goes through this yellow and black wire, and it goes out into the ignition coil, and then the ignition coil multiplies that, and then sends it to the spark plug. So the only wires you need to run pretty much any of these small engines, these Chinese made engines, the mopeds, the 150s, the 50ccs, they're pretty much all the same. If you can get this red and blue wire, including the green ground, don't forget the ground, but this red, this blue, and this green with this little box and this coil right here, that's all you would need to make this machine run those three wires in this box these two these two pieces but if you want to have it where it recharges the battery you're going to have to put the voltage regulator in there and that's where the rest of the wires go to all the other wires that come out of your stator goes into the voltage regulator and then uh it regulates the voltage and it comes back out this side out of this wire it comes out the voltage regulator goes to your battery and it charges your battery very simple, very straightforward, but uh, yeah, that's it, that's really it, and um, this is just going to be an engine stand, so I'm going to take the charging side off and just have a CDI box and a coil, that's it, nothing else. Alright, so now we're down to basic components, <clears throat> we got the CDI box. You got the red and black. That's the, uh, I don't really know these names, so I just know this stuff from experience. This sends spark straight from the stator. So if you were to ever try to test for spark at the stator, you could always take this red wire and you could test for spark at that red wire. And uh, the blue wire is the signal wire from the, uh, the pickup thingy, majiggy inside there. So the red and blue wire goes from the engine straight into your CDI box. Step number one, hook those together. And of course you can solder these or do whatever you, you like, but this is me just tinkering around in the garage. Your blue signal wire, come around and go into your blue signal wire. And I really hope that, hope that this helps somebody out. Uh, okay, so we got the power and the signal hooked up all right and then we're gonna go to this green the green is the ground and this black and white wire is your kill switch so if you're making a shorty harness and you're hooking this up to stuff and you're trying to figure out why you don't have spark you probably grounded out your kill wire so just sit that to the side that goes to whatever kill switch you decide you're going to use and then you take your ground wire and hook her up there and uh i was just gonna throw away the recharging system but i decided to go ahead and try to figure it out 
So if you look at the back of my plug, there's a yellow wire and a white wire. They're very short because I wasn't going to use them, but I hope this might help somebody out. So I'll show you how to hook up your recharging system as well. So those three, three wires right there alone will make this engine run. And then uh, this yellow and black wire goes out to your ignition coil. We're going to be putting multiple grounds on here. So your ignition coil has a pigtail with a yellow and black wire, just like the wire out the CDI box. Put those two together. Bring your ground around town. Okay, it might look a little crazy right now, but this is how you do a shorty harness. Now, if I wanted to, this is all you would need for this engine to run, is this contraption right here. That's it. I used to do this all the way, all the time when I was a kid, and it works great. Never had an issue out of a shorty harness made like this. All you got is ignition coil, CDI box, and the stator from the engine. That's it. You plug this in, this machine will run off of this alone. And then that's your kill switch to cut it off. And um, for your recharging system, it is very simple as well. So there's not just those wires coming off here. There's two more. You got a yellow and white coming out of your engine from the stator. So you take those two. And I don't have the voltage regulator right now, but I'll, I'll grab one and show it to you guys. And you hook it up to the yellow and the white. On the back of your engine plug and if you don't have a plug you could just use these bare wires spent a lot of time as a teenager in the garage figuring stuff out like this so bam bam Bam, bam, and then hook up your ground. Yes, it looked like a clusterfuck, but that's the shorty harness. That's it. All these wires will be taped up into a sleeve or something like this. And you'll just have a few plugs and two wires coming out of it. That's it. All these will get taped up nice and tidy. And you'll have four plugs, one wire. This would have a box on it. This goes to your engine, and that's it. You're running. This power goes to your battery, recharges everything. Voila, that's it. Oh, so simple. I love it. Uh, I don't have tape right now, but I am going to hook it up and show you that it will work. So I'll be right back with you. I'm going to figure something out. Get these wires cleaved up. All right. This is it. And I just wanted to show you guys, there are more wires coming out this engine. Like this would throw most people, most people off. This is just the, uh, wire to run your lights like your neutral reverse and drive and uh yeah that's just gonna get chopped so uh chop chop away adios amigo don't need you and this is your ground and this is the power to your starter man i should make a video on how to uh, make a starter switch for these as well but anyway if you guys want me to make a video on a starter switch let me know Let's hook this puppy up to a battery. All right. We got some battery power. Some food in my belly. Let's see if we get a spark. This is the first try, so if it doesn't work, you, really that shit. you guys witnessed it firsthand.
spark first try. <laughs> Man, I'm good at this shit. I don't know if you guys can see. Just like that, we got a strong ass sparks. Beautiful too. I hope you guys were able to see. I'm trying to see if you guys can see. I'm going to stand where you are and see if I can see. If you see what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's get groovy. I think you get the point. But that's how you make a shorty harness to run your engine. That's it. All right, and this is the shorty harness. As you can tell, it's very short. This little harness will run your voltage regulator. And this goes out to a fuse to your battery. And then you have the plug for your ignition coil, the black and white wire for your kill switch. The plug from your engine goes in there. And you see the CDI box. Where is it? Where is it? Everything's a mess right now. Plug that in. All right. And that's what it looks like with the shorty harness complete. You can make these wires as long or as short as you want to. And uh, like in some cases, you might even want to leave the harness like right here inside of a little box or something. You can even make it even shorter and have the uh, harness on the engine itself. But, yep, that's it. You see the eye box, kill switch, your uh, voltage regulator, which your uh, charge wire coming out goes to a fuse to your battery, uh, stator wire, ignition coil. So it goes electri electricity wise, it goes bam, back around this way, bam, and then it recharges this way, bam, and back out this way, bam. Real simple compared to that pile of wires right there. So, yep, that's the shorty harness, and I'll shut the fuck up now. <laughs>